Hello, everybody, and uh, my name is Dr. James Ong, and welcome. Welcome to this um, special edition, I guess, of um, our products, uh, you know, information. And to today, we're going to try something different, which is we're going to, you know, I'm going to speak about three different uh, types of product, all right? As you are mostly familiar with, our company started with the iTerra Care devices, which is you know, three of them, as you can see, the Classic, the Premier, and the Pro. Then we added on the Ion Shield, and then we um, added on the Seven Wonders recently. So let's get started with our product presentation. And then along the way, I'm sure a lot of your questions will be answered. Right, Prive International was established on 1st June 2021. Yes, very, very recently. And uh, these are the medical disclaimers that um, we have to inform each and every one of you who are new. Um, iTerraCare Classic, iTerraCare Premium, and iTerraCare Pro are not medical devices. The information provided is for educational purposes only and does not substitute for professional medical advice. Please consult a medical professional or healthcare provider if you are seeking medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Right, let's get started. So, what's so amazing about these three products? Well, it's amazing enough to have expanded to more than 50 countries in the world. Yes, more than 50 countries in the world in just slightly more than one year. And right now, as we speak, our board of directors are in Europe, <laughs> okay? Because uh, they're going to set up a company in uh, Poland. And then from there, we're going to do a lot of things uh, for Europe, right? So what is terahertz uh, frequency? A lot of us have never heard about terahertz frequency, but we have heard about microwave and infrared. So terahertz sits in the middle between microwave and infrared, okay? But we have been using the technology without knowing it. And the most common one is the airport security, which uses the terahertz technology because it does not ionize our body. In other words, it doesn't harm our body, all right? It is also used in medical detection and satellite network 5G and 6G. So who created or invented this device? Well, it's Mr. Yang Wenjun from China. It started in 2014 when he invented the first terahertz device in the world. And as you can see, it's a little bit, little bit, little bit ancient, right? Compared to the one that we have right now. So the ones that we have right now are really several versions um, improvement compared to the original one. And a lot of clinical tests have been done. 62 clinical tests have been uh, issued by the Beijing Research Institute of Chemical Technology. And those of you who deal or do business with China, you will know how difficult it is to get it from these government uh, bodies in China. Wow. So who is this? Um, uh, I mean, this Malaysian company that we are talking about. Well, this Malaysian company is Prive International. I mean, we have exclusivity globally, right? The sole and exclusive right to distribute these products globally. Okay. So... Here we are, starting from Malaysia. So the manufacturer, the inventor, they are from China, but the company is from Malaysia. And why has this um, you know, expanded to so many countries in the world? It's mainly because they're simple, right? There are four things that help these uh, devices grow globally. First is it stimulates the stem cells. Second is activates the cells. Third, it's safe. And four is user-friendly. Let's go one by one. So the penetration, when, when you, know, you blow the um, terahertz frequency to your body and you blow it onto your bone, it's going to stimulate the stem cells. So it penetrates 20 to 30 cm right through your body. So if you blow it here, it's going to go through it. Okay. And um, in the process, when you blow it onto your bones, it's going to stimulate the stem cells. Now, I have done some research before I joined the company, and this is what I have found. So this is quite recent, 
as you can see, is 2020, and it was conducted by the um, Russian Academy of Sciences. All right, Russian Academy of Sciences is not small. They have more than 100,000 employees, and they have done the research on different cells, but specifically, I want to cover on stem cells since we are saying that terahertz can stimulate stem cells. Where is the proof? So the effects of terahertz radiation on stem cells, this particular experiment uh, research is done on mice. Okay, so it's not a human clinical trial, but it's done on mice. And I said it many times before, um, it's very expensive to do it on humans. And um, usually the drug companies, when they have it patented, then they will spend a lot of money to do a clinical human clinical trial, which is also a requirement by regulation in most countries. And then once they get it um, uh, proven, then of course that is the return on their investment. So, however, uh, a lot of the other uh, authorities when they want to do a research on let's say food supplement or this and that, uh, things that cannot be patented, then they will just uh, start off and do it on mice. So here, it was shown that exposure to ultra broadband pulse terahertz radiation, right? for nine hours, promoted differentiation of mouse mesenchymal stem cells, okay? So it promoted the differentiation of mouse mesenchymal stem cells. So what does it mean? Stem cells are undifferentiated. In other words, they have no specific function, but once they are being stimulated, then they will become differentiated. That means they go to your liver, they go to your kidneys, they go to your blood, they go to your heart, and they become that particular organ's cells. And another thing that they have also found is in contrast, short-term exposure of two hours help to maintain pluripotency. Pluripotency is like multi-purpose. So in other words, the stem cells is pluripotent, means it can go into different organs and help and become the cells of those particular organs. So to maintain pluripotency is definitely good. Right. Another thing that uh, I have researched into, and the reason why I want to highlight this is because later on I'll show some, some testimonial and you will be able to see how a man who could not speak, but after being blown for 20 minutes, is able to speak um, You know, after two years of un being un unable to speak to anyone. So that's quite amazing. And why he's able to do that is because here from this uh, particular report, it says here, if you read, terahertz exposure enhances neuronal synaptic transmission. Okay, terahertz exposure enhances neuronal synaptic transmission. So what is this synaptic transmission? Well, here I have a conveniently uh, copy and paste for you to see. Is an understanding of synaptic transmission is the key to understanding the basic operation of the nervous system at a cellular level. Without transmission, there is no direct communication between cells. There would be only individual isolated cells. The whole point of the nervous system is to control and coordinate body function and enable the body to respond to and act on the environment. Synaptic transmission is the key process in the integrative action of the nervous system. So when you have this synaptic transmission, your neurons can communicate with the other cells in your body and that's where movements, speech and everything else will fall into place, okay? Now, another main feature of why this product is selling so well is because it has the same vibrational uh, setup as our body, okay? So it resonates with our body. What do we mean by resonance? Well, if you hit a different frequency, the um, ping pong balls, will not move in this experiment. If it has the same frequency, it's going to vibrate. Okay, so that is what we mean by resonance. So that is the main uh, point, um, why this product is selling so well, because it vibrates, it goes into the body, it charges the cells, and the cells become more active and therefore become more efficient. Now, another reason is, um, well, it's safe. It's very safe. That's why airports are using it for scanners. And here we have a simple radiation test. And you can see, as we show you, 
the uh, electronic devices or electronic appliances contains radiation. Okay. And then when we blow on it, with the eye terra care, there is none. And I tried that actually. <laughs> my friend brought a device uh, to, to my place and we, we experimented and yeah, we tried all corners. And also we did um, ultraviolet uh, radiation tests and also it's proven that it does not contain UV radiation. Okay, moving along. Well, it seems to work very well against inflammation. And inflammation is the number one factor causing a lot of diseases. And why do we have inflammation? It's because I believe the food intake, the air we breathe, and all the harmful things from EMF to Wi-Fi, whatever, everything is sort of going into our system. And we just have no defense mechanism. In fact, I said this before, our body is crying out for help. So when your body is inflamed, imagine if you scratch your hand with knife, it's going to cut, right? So when you have all these little things going into your body and system, and yeah, there's a lot of inflammation going on. And somehow, these wonderful iTerra Care devices, it works so well to solve this inflammation problem. And when that inflammation problem is solved, a lot of things will just go away, okay? Lastly, I believe it's because it's very simple. We give you a chart and you just follow the you know, uh, procedure to blow on these different points. They are all traditional Chinese medicine acupuncture points, meridian points, all right? And you just go blow, 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 and you get well, okay? Now, future medicine will be the medicine of frequencies. That's according to Mr. Albert Einstein. And we are all made of energy, all right? Why? Because we are made of molecules, number one. And from molecules, as you know, you break it down, they are atoms. And when you go into subatomic particles, you find nothing more than just energy. And this was proven in 2012. And um, this was done in CERN in Switzerland, where there was a, you know, they built actually until today, there is, still is a large hadron collider where they collided the particles and created the Big Bang. And that's how they found out that um, we are all just energy, all right? So it's called the Higgs field. And all particles have to go through the Higgs field to have mass. So we are, at the end of the day, and not only we are, everything from animals, plants to everything, they are all energy, okay? Now, for pregnant women, well, do not do... Um, blowing, all right? And uh, there's nothing wrong with that, I guess, you know, it's just that as a precaution, uh, we don't want, you know, pregnant ladies when they give birth to their child. Um, hmm. The same goes for food supplements and many, many companies. When it comes to pregnant women, uh, they're a little bit cautious, all right? And also because the terahertz, it blows a bit of heat for the two devices and the pro has a cold function, but uh, because of the heat, um, that it blows as well together with the frequency. Those of you who have metals in your body from stand to, you know, whatever, just uh, stay away from those areas, okay? Now, these are the three wonderful devices that we have. And uh, what is the difference? Well, the classic, the red one, the classic is the basic model. And this basic model is used for household, okay? But if you have a bigger budget, and you want better quality in terms of, you know, the casing and portability and, uh, you know, it's very lightweight and the box and everything. And, you know, um, yeah, you can go for the premium. Um, and then if you want to do it in a clinic, in a wellness center, you want to blow for hours and, yeah, uh, greater output in terms of terahertz, then you go for the pro. Okay, so these are the three different models that we have. And to start off with testimonials, we have beauty, all right? So terahertz is also used for beauty purposes and they just blow on their faces, okay? They just blow on their faces and results are quite amazing. 
Okay, results are quite amazing. Some they blow on half the face and they have seen amazing results. Half the face, okay? O shape can also become V shape in a few minutes. And wrinkles disappears. Crow's feet disappears. And those of you who wants to lose weight, please put up your hand. <laughs> Sorry, I um, turn off your video so you can't do that. Um, yeah, you can try this. Um, the reason why, oh, someone raised, did raise your hand, okay? Um, so you're listening, huh? okay, just testing. <laughs> anyway, thank you. Um, you blow all over your body. When you blow all over your body and also you charge the water that you drink, um, your whole body cells will function more efficiently. And uh, guess what? When your cells are working efficiently, you can have a lot of you know, natural detox and you know, like lymphatic system, your metabolic rate you know, goes up, burn more and, and so on. Guess what? You start to optimize and lose your weight. All right? So we believe that when you accumulate fats, it's toxins all right? that the fat is surrounding. So when your body cells are more efficient, it's able to dispel and get rid of all the toxins and therefore, there's no need for the fat, all right? The fat is actually covering your toxins so that they don't harm your organs. Are you with me? All right? So here, you find that a lot of people, they have been using it and we have countless people, they have lost weight, okay? And it doesn't mean that you keep on losing weight until you're so super skinny, all right? As I said, you only have fat because your body is trying to protect the toxins from harming your organs by having those fats surrounding, okay? So when you are able to start um, enhancing your cells and removing the toxins, the fats, there's no function for them, right? To have excess uh, fats all over your body. Okay, now going into more serious stuff, varicose veins seems to work amazingly well. Varicose veins. And within minutes, and I tried it myself in Vietnam for someone's mother. Right? I tried it myself and I was quite impressed with it. The result is yeah, quite staggering <laughs> right? within minutes. Okay, then this is a guy that I want to show you and we have a lot of other people as well. Uh, for two years, couldn't speak. Blue for 20 minutes, able to talk. Wow. And uh, I belong to many group chats and I've seen now stroke patients. I'm sure some of you guys have seen as well. Stroke patients can walk, can do a lot of stuff. And it's so thrilling. And wow, it really touches me when I see that, you know, it, I mean, when, when you have a massive stroke, right? A lot of your neurons and they just get damaged. So it just goes to show that stem cells are working, <laughs> right? Otherwise, where's the explanation, okay? So it's very, very exciting for people with stroke, Alzheimer, Parkinson, and yeah, there is hope. All right. Then today we have psoriasis, eczema, a lot of skin diseases. And not only are they uncomfortable, itchy, they are also not, not sightly, you know, not comfortable to be seen by people, right? So here again, it helps. And I have helped someone with eczema on the ear. And she tried everything, but within three weeks, she was able to, to clear her eczema that she couldn't get relief or treatment from a lot of doctors in Europe. Okay. So yeah, I, I felt really, really great when uh, she told me that. All right. So these are just examples of skin diseases. Here we have clenched fist. Someone who couldn't open, right? A fist. And within minutes, she's able to open and close. Wow. Incredible. Then we have a lot of people who cannot free up their arm, some kind of a frozen shoulder, right? And again, within minutes, many people have done that. And a lot of people have, you know, kind of different pain. Some even resort to painkillers and just doing this treatment for a short time. And it disappears. Wow. It's huge, you know. And uh, of course, this lump, hum, I would say, also disappeared. When I saw it, I 
honestly, I couldn't believe it, right? And then in my live stream, I got this story. Um, Joy from Philippines, her niece, uh, she has uh, breast cancer. And because of all the things that she took and the therapy and radiation and everything, she developed this lump below her breast, supposed to go for operation. And within two weeks, it disappeared. And that's another amazing. And this one is a bishop, right? His legs became black because he has a valve problem in his heart. And he was blowing himself. From black, it became brown. From black, it became brown. Thank you, Lord. Uh, Bishop, what happened when... It was featured in our live stream, so I won't play too long of it. And this lady in Indonesia, she had a um, walking stick kind of thing. And you can see from her face how uncomfortable she must have felt. Right? How uncomfortable she must have felt. And just within minutes, look at the smile. Right? If picture paints a thousand words, well, just look at the smile. Wouldn't you guys want to make someone happy? Put up your hands. <laughs> right? Okay. I'm sure you do. Okay. That's what we should do. We should help people. Right. Then now we have Malaysian lady. And when she wanted to pray, it's so painful for her to bend down. Okay excruciating pain but after using for one week blowing herself twice a day morning and afternoon can you walk straight yes can you run yes i can run that's what she said <laughs> there you go isn't that a happy sight yeah <laughs> amazing we have many many happy customers all over the world all right ladies and gentlemen it's just so nice to see all these happy customers in more than 50 countries in the world just a little bit more than one year Oh, okay. So there you go. Now, I want to show you this one because you can blow on the water, charge water. Just blow for one minute and then drink. And this is what they okay, show in our blood. Uh, we took a drop of blood and test the microscope. We found the blood is sticking together. After that, we take 300 ml of water and we charge using the blower, which generate iTerra Hertz technology. It's about two inch distance, about 30 seconds. After doing that, uh, 30 seconds, and uh, we give the person to drink, and, uh, and we waited for a more spot. 10 minutes and test the blood the blood is separated and beautiful it's moving fast the choice is also clean the blood and it remove all the toxin isn't this wonderful <laughs> i drink it every day all right now this demo is to show you energy water yeah, yeah. And that's Madam Veda, the Managing Director of India, Prive International. class. <laughs> Another glass with uh, normal water. Normal water. Bring here, bring here. Oh, 
Okay, now moving along, all right. So that's Terra Hertz and um, iTerra Care, and now we're gonna talk about this wonderful, wonderful um, product called Seven Wonders, and I'll show you why we call this product Seven Wonders. First of all, we cannot survive without water. Water is life, isn't it? And sixty percent of our adult body. Some people say more, seventy percent um, of our body is water. Babies have more, okay? So we drink water every day. Now, some of these wonderful sites in the world where there are miracles that happens on a daily basis, it contains amazing water, all right? They are in Ludes, France, La Cote in Mexico, Nadana in Germany, Nadana in India. And there's one common ingredient among the different sites here. It contains active hydrogen. It contains dissolved hydrogen in the water. Okay, so what is this thing about hydrogen? Let me uh, explain to you, unfortunately, because if I want to explain to you scientifically, I have to go deep into words, all right? And I know some of you may not like words, so bear with me, okay? Benefits of hydrogen. This is from the NIH. And if you know PubMed, NIH, well, National Institutes of Health in the United States is the authority in the medical world. Hydrogen is extremely unique since it has the capability to act at the cellular level. Guys, when these people in NIH and PubMed, when they write something or print something, they don't mean their words. They're very careful, very cautious. So here it says, hydrogen is extremely unique since it has the capability to act at the cellular level. So we are not saying it may you know, we're saying, yes, it has the capability to act. Hydrogen is qualified to cross the blood-brain barrier to enter the mitochondria. What is the mitochondria? That's the powerhouse of our cells, right? Creates, converts energy. And even has the ability to translocate to the nucleus under certain conditions. One in these ideal locations of the cell, previous studies have shown that hydrogen exerts antioxidant, anti-apoptotic, anti-inflammatory and cytoprotective properties that are beneficial to the cell. Wow. Hydrogen is most commonly applied as a gas. Water, saline, can be applied in a variety of other mediums. There are also few side effects involving hydrogen. In other words, it's inert, all right? No side effects, okay? And um, making hydrogen a perfect medical gas candidate for the convention of novel therapeutic strategies against cardiovascular, Cerebral vascular cancer. Wow, this is big, guys. Cancer. I say it, they don't mean their words. Metabolic and respiratory diseases and disorders. It's not Dr. James Song saying this. It's the National Institutes of Health, PubMed. Okay, right. Moving along. One more. Okay, one more document. Same from NIH, PubMed. Benefits of hydrogen. Molecular hydrogen has been accepted to be inert and non-functional molecule in our body. We have turned this concept by demonstrating that hydrogen reacts with strong oxidants such as hydroxyl radical in cells and propose its potential for pre preventive and therapeutic applications. Hydrogen has a number of advantages exhibiting extensive effects. Hydrogen rapidly diffuses into tissues and cells and it is mild enough neither to disturb metabolic redox reactions nor to affect signaling reactive oxygen species. Therefore, there should be no or little adverse effects of hydrogen. There are several methods to ingest or consume hydrogen, inhaling hydrogen gas, drinking hydrogen dissolved water. That is our product. Drinking hydrogen dissolved water. I'll explain in a bit what it actually means. 
injecting hydrogen dissolved saline, taking a hydrogen bath. Would you like that? <laughs> Dropping hydrogen saline into the eyes. The numerous publications on its biological and medical benefits revealed that hydrogen reduces oxidative stress. Remember I said about inflammation? Stress, oxidative stress also encourages inflammation. So it reduces oxidative stress. Now that's good, right? It reduces not only by direct reactions with strong oxidants, but also indirectly by regulating various gene expressions. Moreover, by regulating the gene expressions, hydrogen functions as an anti-inflammatory, anti-apoptotic, and stimulates energy metabolism. Remember what I said? When you charge your, your cells and your cells can work more efficiently, well, your metabolic rate goes up, right? So here, same for this water. When you have hydrogen, in addition to growing evidence obtained by model animal experiments, extensive clinical examinations were performed or under investigations. Since most drugs specifically act to their targets, hydrogen seems to differ from conventional pharmaceutical drugs owing to its great efficacy and lack of adverse effects. Guys, listen to this. Hydrogen has promising potential for clinical use against many diseases. Wow. Powerful. I'll just pause here for a while and tell you something about hydrogen water in our, oh, sorry, this way, in our seven wonders. You know how it is formed? We have minerals. And when you put H2O, some of you may think, hey, H2O contains hydrogen. So what are you talking about, James? Well, H2O is a molecule, H2O. We are talking about H2, all right? That's different, isn't it? So the water will react with the, with the minerals and it produces hydrogen. So the hydrogen will go up but because the flask is tight sealed, it has nowhere to go. It goes back down into the water. That's why it's called dissolved hydrogen water. So you unscrew it, pour it out, drink it. Okay, that is dissolved hydrogen, guys. Okay, so I'm going to share with you some experiment, but I won't go into too much detail because you can watch it in YouTube, um, which I have uh, done a live uh, test. Okay. But I'm just going to go through some important points just to highlight to you that, first of all, we do have hydrogen, okay? I'm just going to show you. And I'm just going to go to the relevant you section, okay? You can watch this in our YouTube channel, guys. Your normal household okay, so here we go. And over here is our seven uh, wonders water. And let's take a quick look, right, of what is the uh, dissolved hydrogen level. So here as we put it in, and I'm sure you can see that the reading is zero, right? There's no hydrogen. So here, we're now gonna put it in seven wonders water, and you can see the reading is more than 1,000. Okay, and I was in India recently, and I did one in Chennai and one in Hyderabad, and it shows more than 1,600 parts per billion of hydrogen. Isn't it fantastic? Okay, now the other thing is I want to introduce to you, this is what we call oxidation reduction potential. Now oxidation, is that good or bad? Oxidation is bad, you know why? You cut off the apple, after minutes it becomes brown. That is oxidation, all right? So oxidation is aging, okay? So oxidation reduction, is that good or bad? Of course that's good, right? So potential, so it measures that, and in this measurement, if positive ORP, we call it, with positive ORP, it's not good. So soda water, soda, soda drinks, canned soda drinks, it's about 500. Guys, for those of you who love sweet, you know, sugary or even, um, yeah, I won't go into too much detail. You know already, right? The brands and all that out there. Tap water is also plus 300. And bottled water, two to 300, and it goes on. And as you go to healthier drinks, and you find that it goes down in ORP. And ours is negative 500. And I was like, doing an experiment in uh, Chennai and uh, Hyderabad, and it's actually seven to 800 negative. Okay? So it's very, very exciting for our Seven Wonders product because 
when you have this negative ORP and you're drinking it every day, in other words, you are drinking healthy water. And when you're drinking water, healthy water every day, what do you think will happen to your cells? You answer me, all right? Okay, I won't tell you. Then, let's look at our seven wonders water on this ORP. Again, I'm going to fast forward. Okay? I'm going to fast forward. If you have a negative reading and the more negative it is, then it is less contaminated. So you want to have um, a good quality water, negative reading. So let's see now. What is the reading on this normal water? I guess you can see it's a positive reading, right? And then when I transfer it here, it will show you a negative reading. So here it shows that the ORP, or oxidation reduction potential, is definitely much better in Seven Wonders water. Okay, next. Let's take a look at alkaline. Now, right. I'm going to show you. Sorry. I'll just fast forward again. So you can see, our water is and alkaline. I'll just quickly stir it. Okay. And this chart will show and tell us most of the stuff that we consume daily, they are acidic. And our body requires a pH of 7.35 to 7.45. Okay, pH 7 is neutral, but you wake up in the morning and you start drinking coffee. Wow, look at coffee. What is it? I think coffee, some food at pH 4, 5, you know, it's, it's acidic, all right? And then it goes on. Unless we live on fruits and vegetables, which are alkaline, we don't, do we, right? So, we need the help. All the help that we can get with alkaline water. Next, molecular size reduction. If we are able to reduce the size of the molecules in the water, it means it can absorb better. Whatever food intake, the nutrients can be absorbed better as well, all right? So how do we show that? This is the experiment. Again, I'm going to fast forward. The molecular size of the water to our glass. We use a tea, chrysanthemum to show. Next. Okay, we use chrysanthemum. And this is what we do. And you will find that if it dissolves faster, the color will show quicker. Just give it a quick stir. You can see it, right? I think very obvious. It is fairly obvious. And once you buy the product, you can experiment yourself and it show is people. Obvious. Okay. Next, antioxidant. I know in Philippines they follow Americans and they call it antioxidant. Well, whatever you call it, it's pretty good. All right. Antioxidant is pretty good and this is the experiment that i did again i'm going to fast forward we're going to add two more drops so we here. add this iodine one two one two and this time we're going to stir now it is very very obvious if you can just compare the antioxidation process two. occurs so this and one it still remains colorless obviously antioxidation property. Now, to make it more convincing, right, I'm going to put this, right, instant noodle. People love. <laughs> and we're going to add some more. And see what happens. Water. 
magic, right? So, this is all we have. Okay. Scary, isn't it? <laughs> okay, what we eat and everything that we consume. Then mineral water. When we have mineral water, mineral water is good because that's where the current goes through our body, right? We are energy. We are made of energy and we need that. And now I'm going to so show, I'm right? just going to quickly show. And this warm water, I'm now going to pour it into our... So there's no glass. light? Glass. Okay. And just give it a little bit. Do a bit of kick. A little bit of time. And pop this one in. And you can see the light. Okay. So there you go. That's Seven Wonders Water. Now, for tonight, look at this thing here. Have you all been seeing this a lot? Right. So tonight I'm going to talk about it. Um, yeah, this is the ion shield. Okay, this is the ion shield. And um, it looks really, really good. Okay, but what's the function of ion shield? Well, the function of ion shield is that it releases negative ion. And it's a lot. How much negative ion? 60 million per cubic centimeter so that means in one cubic centimeter 60 million negative ions wow and what does negative ions do all these particles which are bad around us they are all positively charged so with the negative ions you will react with these positively charged particles and they drop to the ground okay and that's what happens and where do you find negative ions a lot well, in forests, in waterfall areas, that's where you find a lot of negative ions. But do we live in waterfall areas or do we live in the forest, in the mountains? No, we don't, right? Even by the beach, you have negative ions, but we don't have that luxury. In fact, we live in cities, right? And in cities, what do you have? Woohoo, haze. <laughs> okay, so you need to protect yourself. Can you bring your... Uh, what you call it, uh, air purifier from your home everywhere you go. You can't do that, right? But this one, just wear it everywhere you go. So it's like the whole waterfall area is here. Okay? So that's that's the negative ion in the ion shield. How do, I, how do I prove it? Okay? Well, I got this video from the company. And you can try the experiment. Right, so I hope you enjoy um, today's version, three in one, okay? And uh, really, we all need something to heal our body, which is, you know, not uh, really in good shape right now. So by blowing, you do that. And we drink water every day, right? So with Seven Wonders, you can charge the water, right? Or Seven Wonders water, and then make it charge water which gives you the additional boost and then drink it and then have this, all right? Have this so that you can be protected. So I hope you really, really um, enjoy and uh, willing to try uh, these products and it will definitely help you and your family for better quality life. So thank you so much, guys, for being with me in my... Uh, first three-in-one seminar, right? And uh, I hope to see all of you soon, especially those of you in the uh, Philippines. I'll be going there. So I hope to see all of you. And those of you in India, hello, just came from India. And um, yeah, hopefully I'll be meeting each and every one of you sometime in the near future. So thank you so much, everybody, and uh, see you soon. Bye.